Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the ng class in Angular 15. In the previous video, where we discussed about the ng style in Angular 15. So in the ng style is basically uh, kind of an inline CSS we write. But in the ng class, what we do, we write all the CSS in one class and then that class we access in our DOM element like in the paragraph or the div. So it's just similar to the HTML. So in the HTML, what we do in the style, we write at one place and then we try to access it by using the uh, like class name. So this is the similar way we use it here. So let's understand it with an example. So let's go to the Visual Studio code. And when we create any component, so every component has their one file called .css. So this is the class where we will write our CSS. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one is color one and what I'm going to take here, color and green. Now, similar to this one, let me copy it. And another one I'm taking as a color two and this one I'm going to put it as a red. Similar to this one, let's uh, take, these are the four the color. Next, I'm going to take for the font. So font one and here I'm going to use font size and let's make it as a 30 pixel similar to this one let's copy it and here let's put it as a 40 so these are the couple of the like uh, css we have written now next thing what we will do in the html we are we will try to access all those things so how we, we will do so let's what I'm going to do here is basically here, I'm taking one paragraph. So in this paragraph, let's take using ng class as a string or as in paragraph. Here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the ng class. So let, just like the ng style here, I'm using the ng class. Now here we will call this class one sorry color one this is the uh, like which we created here so now currently we are getting the error let's see what is this so the cl uh, color one does not exist in app component and the reason is we have put in the double quotes but we have to use the single quote as well so now let's save it so i have saved it now let's go in the browser and see and we can see using ng class as an string coming as a green and the reason of the green because we have color one as a green. So this is the like single line we have used that class. Now the next thing is like how we can use the same thing in the different way. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the for each loop. And in this, what I will take first, let me take the div. And here, what I'm going to do, star ng4, let item, and student details. So this is the same like which we are using previously, the same array I'm going to use it. So that is the student details. Now in this tip, I'm going to use ng class, ng class. And what I'm going to use here, I'm going to use this color to and after this one, let's print item dot name and now let's save it. So, okay. So again, we have to put the single quotes also. So now it's saved it. Now let's see on the browser. We can see all the text is coming as in name one, two, three, and four in the red color because we have put the color two. Now the thing is here, if we are going to use the two uh, classes then how we can use it so for that one what we have to do we have to use the big brackets here and we have to use the comma so now for an example here i'm going to use the font one so this is the way like we use it so now if you will go on the browser we can see the font size is increased for this one because we are using two css here and then um, using how we can use that in the big brackets now similar here if i want to use it 
then and now let's save it and go on the browser and similar way we can see for this also so this is the way in the ng4 we use it like uh, using the for loop we can give the uh, ng class here now the next thing how how we can uh, do that now let's understand with an object if i want to access so here i'm saying s3 and here i'm saying using ng class with object and inside this one what i'm trying to do uh, ng class and here i'm saying what i'm saying like color one is true and color two as false now if you will save this one so here like uh, what we are getting we are getting one error let's see what is this so ng class since it is a, uh, not a okay so we have to make a small l so ng class now it is uh, succeed successfully let's go on the browser and see using ng class and it is basically with the green color and the reason is because color one we have make the true and color two we have make the false so this is the way we can access it now let's get rid of this one so we will remove this one now let's say this and if i will go on the browser we can see it is coming in the green color because color one we make the true and color one is basically a green so this is the way we can uh, do this now the next thing like how we can access this css using the method so for that one like for the method how we can access it is basically like we have to create a one method so let's go on the ts file and here i'm going to do i'm going to create a one method and that is get css class and here input i'm going to take as a string type and then here i'm taking a class type and here what i'm going to do if input is equal to equal to main then what i'm going to do class type i'm making as a color one and this i'm going to make as a true so that is the first thing now the next is in the else in the else case what i'm going to do class type and in the class type what i'm going to do is color two and this i'm going to make the true so this uh, like method i have written here it's basically what method i have written um, like here i've taken one variable and i'm checking if the input is basically uh, like uh, main then we are triggering like color one true otherwise if it is not main then we are doing color two is the uh, true so this method name we have return here now after doing this one what we are going to return we are going to return the class type so that we are returning from here so let's see okay class type we have to write so let's save it now let's go on the html side and here what i am going to write here is dev now inside this one i will say so inside this one i will call that method so ng class and then we have to call that method and that method name is get css class so this method name i am calling and from here i will call that main method and let's see what mean it is in a small letter so let's put it in this way and here i am saying using ng class as a method calling so now let's save it go on the browser and see uh, using ng class as a method calling because we have put as a color one and uh, like if it is main then it will make the color one true and color one is basically green now instead of this main i'm saying main one and let's save it go on the browser it should be in red color so this is the way like what we do we can create ng class using the method and using the uh, like in the div if we want to use the for each loop or basically ng4 and if we want as an object like which color we have to make the true or not 
we can do like this and even with the method also we can call the ng class so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you